My first standard is Somalia. During the 70s and the 80s, Somalia had a socialist government. At that time, Somalia was trying to decide on either the Soviets or the United States, but even though the Soviets were close to the Somalian government, they settled on the United States. Today, some of the conflicts about Somalia include piracy or pirates. Since 2005, many organizations expressed concerns in the rise of piracy and pirates in Somalia. My second standard is the Gulf oil spill. The Gulf oil spill, which is also referred to as the BP oil spill, is one of the most recent nature disasters. It also drastically affected the U.S. and the spill killed 11 workers when it first started. That is when the first ring exploded. And afterwards, oil flowed for three months sucking animals and birds, and threatening the entire Gulf coastline. My third standard was the Occupy Movement. The Occupy Movement is an international protest movement against social and economic inequality. There are several groups of this, whether it's local or not so local. It undermines democracy and is also unstable. My fourth standard is steroids and sports. Until 2002, the Major League Baseball Association never tested players for steroid usage, and they were also not penalized in America. In America, there are over 1 million kids that use steroids, and who knows how many professional athletes use them. Also, according to Blue Cross Blue Shield, 7% of girls in the United States use steroids. So that's about 70,000 girls using steroids in America. And now, in present day, after every sporting event, and before every sporting event, athletes are tested for drugs. My fifth standard is Barack Obama. Today, Barack Obama is the 44th and current president of the United States. He is also the first African American to hold office. He was born in 1961 in Honolulu, Hawaii. His full name is Barack Hussein Obama, and right now he's been in office since 2005. Obama's major contribution to being in office is the Affordable Care Act, or also known as Obamacare. This extends health care to millions of Americans, including those with pre-existing conditions. But some people might also say his major contribution was to rescue the auto industry.